And then let's skip to one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite subjects. I've been talking about this for, for the better part of a few years now. It's photogrammetry. And always the question that's being asked, how is accuracy with photogrammetry? Um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to give you a little bit more insight into that. But first of all, you know, we're, we're part of Autodesk now. One of the key projects that uh, we've been working on in the past few years is Project Photofly. Uh, and again, the aspect of simplification comes in mind here. Because photogrammetry has been around for a long time. But it's typically been done, very difficult to do. It's been, uh, again, a tool for the engineers, for the super users. And Project Photofly has basically brought it to the masses. It's brought it to the consumer. It's made it easy to, uh, to work with. And it's made it fully automated. But now the next question is, can we move from the consumer to the professional world? Because that's a question you'll probably be asking yourself as well. How can we improve the accuracy? So hopefully I'll be able to share you a little, uh, share a few things about what we can actually achieve with uh, the project profile. Just some examples. This is uh, uh, a reconstruction which was made by my good friend uh, Gilicia. And he, uh, you know, he just made a whole bunch of snapshots of, uh, of, his, of his quad and fully automatically reconstructed that into 3D. There's no uh, uh, human interaction required here. So I, will, uh, I recommend all of you to go online and try this out. We've recently, at least I think yesterday, announced uh, 123 Catch, which is the new rebranded consumer version of the uh, Photofly that everybody will, uh, will be able to use. And of course, from a photographic perspective, one of the things we're also working on within labs is uh, using images to extract Catalines and to do modeling, image based modeling uh, in AutoCAD directly uh, and, and use the image information for that. And the accuracy we we'll get with this is actually quite, uh, quite high. Talking of accuracy, let's then jump into uh, the nitty gritty. This is a quick uh, comparison of what I did. It's, scanned, uh, it's, uh, it's actually in Delft, it's, uh, it's the old store, it's a uh, the building there. We scanned it with a scan station 2 and we meshed it and we did a uh, uh, Photofly uh, 6 megapixel DSLR reconstruction to actually compare how does laser scan compare to, to the photogrammetric <coughs> yeah. As you can see, it's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. You can see that some of the sharpness in some areas are, uh, could be improved. But again, we're only processing at 6 megapixels. So this is really promising. So if we dive into a little bit deeper and look at the, the results from a, a deeper range, it's very nice that you can do it accurately uh, close up. But this is uh, the, the distance from the camera actually to the farthest away office was like 20 or 30 meters. And if you're looking at the detail, there's the colors you're seeing in blue is actually the laser scan, uh, the, the, the red is a low uh, density reconstruction we did, and the yellow one is a high density reconstruction we did, which is a 6 megapixel basically. And uh, you can see that the fit is pretty good already. So if we look into detail, how does that look on the shirt? You can completely see it. But the yellow line is actually, again, the photogrammetry uh, result of high resolution. The blue one is, uh, is, at, uh, is a laser scan. You see the low resolution photogrammetry tends to run off a little bit. There's actually a, a slice which is very much up close. And here's another slice too that we have. And you can see that it actually fits dead on. And even the noise level is, uh, comes very close to the laser scan, actually. So, of course, photogrammetry will not always work in every situation. It's a sensitivity, a sensitive tool. It's a passive medium. So you'll always be influenced by lighting condition, reflectance, material properties, etc. But under the right conditions, you can get uh, uh, very good laser scanner grade results with this. Again, this is not going to replace laser scanning, but it's, it's clear that these two industries or these two domains will, will fuse uh, in the next couple of years, and they will be common to, to jointly use together.